Get in here. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? Hey, 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 y'all. I'm not even gonna take a long time. I'm about to tune in because, hey, y'all remember when I did that first reaction, right? When, um, yeah, I gave my thoughts on the, uh, on the shit with Travis Scott. Remember the Astro World? I know y'all remember. The fuck? Don't be acting like y'all don't know. God damn it. Don't do me now. Shit. Y'all see? Look. I got layers on this side because that shit on stretch. Boom. That shit going straight to the back. Boom. We're working on that stress point. Boom. Gang in your wish. Popping wish. Popping wish. Popping. That's that natural hair. Straight backs. Hey. DM me if you want me to braid your hair. You know? Hey. <laughs> No real shit. I hope all my supporters out there is doing good. Cause I love y'all. Do y'all love me? Cause I love y'all. Wesh. Popping, 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 popping. So like and comment and motherfucking subscribe. Stay tuned for the motherfucking channel. Cause you never know. You net you just <clears throat> you never motherfucking know. I might let you in on my own business. Yeah now. Or you know. But anywho, today I'm tuning in. Because they done had motherfucking Charlemagne the God done had a whole motherfucker. I like Charlemagne. He cool. But the God Charlemagne, <laughs> I'm going to do another video on that. Like, the who? But, okay, Charla, I ain't coming for you. Don't come for me. Don't trip. I'm just saying Charlemagne the God, whatever. Mmm. But he done had a whole conversation with Travis Scott. The fuck? Let me hear what you <laughs> What is these niggas talking about, though? And yes, it's long as fuck, y'all. Long as fuck. So tune the fuck in with me. I'm try. Hey, I'm gonna watch the good. We gonna rewind if it. Hey, fast forward if need. Pause, stop, and all that shit. Just stay tuned, okay? Hey, wish popping. Let's see what you're talking. Travis Scott, what's up, brother? What'd it do? What's up, feeling? T? Uh, you know. Um, Ooh, baby. I like that see, outfit. I've been on about, like, Popping. different type of, like, emotions, you know? Emotional mm. roller coaster. I mean, um. What you want? Uh, mm. It gets what so hard because, you know, I'm so, I always felt, like, connected with my fans. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I went through something, you know, and I feel like fans went through something and people's parents went through something. Mm. And it's, you know, it, it really, you know, yeah, it hurts, nigga, it hurts everybody the community, went through it hurts something. the city. And it's just but, been a lot of thoughts, you know, a lot of feelings, a lot of grieving. Um, and just, you know, trying to get you to wrap my head around it, you know. Um, yeah, it was so I really just sad. really wanted to be there. I give my condolences um, again to those family members. just, you know, wish you could just kind of like hold everyone, you know. Um, Kind of just healed them, talk to them, oh, them have them. conversations. Say sorry. Um, Bring you know, them back. It just, it, it just, you know, it really just hurts, man. Well, what's, your, what's your intention well, I'm glad with this conversation? Like, like, what do you hope to to get out of this? Or what do you hope to get out? I don't personally have an intention. I just feel like something happened, and I feel like it's just... You need to speak um, on that shit. I needed just a way to kind of like communicate, you know. Mm -hmm. Took some time. When yeah. you know, families are grieving. You know, it's fans mm -hmm. that experienced something. It's fans that came to a show. Uh, you know, and, so and I feel like I just so have like sad. a. I've always been that person to sad, sad. always see things through mm -hmm. with um, the people that shared experiences with me. And, you know, it just. Things happen, and you know, I just kind of, you know, it's been such a T what, such a time, and I've just been trying to just really figure things out, you know. Mm -hmm. Like what? Put it in I, place. I, I know you. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you experienced any remorse, but was there any hesitation to have this conversation because of the litigation you may be facing? Well, I mean, yeah, of course you got people that's just like, oh, uh, what, like you know, but oh, uh, over you, I pray um, for you. It's not about that. And for the families again. Uh, you know, it's, you know, and you're artists, people, you, whatever man. people think you are, but at the end of the day, you're a human being, you know, mm -hmm. um, and you, you have emotions. Um, you want to communicate the emotions, you know. You I'm too, trying to find the best way I to really pray for you. I you hope know, you're you okay. Just Mentally, you know. shit. How have you been coping oh, with the man. aftermath of everything? Just, just, 
just emotionally, just you as a human? I've been just in a room for a while, you know, a lot of thoughts. And luckily, you know, um, yeah, people around that can kind of bounce girl. ideas, but it's well, just been, baby, you know, I've been doing this baby. for such a long time. And, you know, you, nothing like this ever happened, you know? So it just kind of like, you just kind of figuring out. And at the like, end of the day, the like fuck? these fans are your family. So you just mm -hmm. feel like you lost lost something and you just it like you go you do these shows honestly to you know for people to have the best experience you know and just to have think fun something like this happening like, you're just trying to figure hey, out you know, seen, da, 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 da. you know Talk, just wrap everything take around take pictures so, posts wear your just best the first outfits couple, da, 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 da. couple weeks i have from you know, just, bro you sit down but i had to really channel these emotions to just remember like you know if no one's gonna be a voice for these people. I gotta like kind of step up and kind of like be a voice to just figure out that. Well, like what you he know, got this doesn't happen in the future. The shows, period. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or shares, figure out the bottom nice. solution of what's like going on and just area. try to ensure his people, you know, safety and what they're doing. Looks you know? very yeah, like You said you was in the room, but then people saw you at uh, at the golf course. Yeah, yeah, with Michael Jordan, yeah, yeah. Mark Wahlberg. Like what, yes. what, what was that? You know what I mean? Um, it was just, just Thanksgiving. White or um, cream, you know, with that maybe. Yeah. I just, um, you know, like, it was just okay, good people to have around the, the earth, the trees, with the sunlight coming And, you know, in. that was just more like a personal time just trying to get around. Like, the atmosphere is what I'm talking about. More of the feeling type. But, yeah. Let's talk about that night, man. When when did When did you find out things got as bad as they did. Now, that's that's the question everybody wants to know. Yeah, it wasn't really until, like, minutes until, like, the press conference until I figured out exactly what happened, you know? Wow. Um, even after the show, you know, you're just kind of hearing hearing things. Um, but you don't know, I didn't know the exact details until, you know, oh, minutes what before you the press conference. Mm -hmm. And even at that moment, you kind of just like, wait, you know, what? Like, you know, what? you just went like, through something and it's just like, I just what? left off stage, you know? what? So you didn't know people that had actually passed away nah, and stuff? Nah. Wow. Until minutes before, you know, mm -hmm. which is, yeah. You know, and at the thing is, like, you know, people like pass what? out. You know, people, you know, things happen at concerts. But something like that, it's just like. That's different. That's different. <laughs> yeah, people said they uh, oh, collectively, yeah. it's okay. oh, they yeah. collectively you heard folks screaming help every time you, gotta get you stop the this. song to get your attention. Did you did you hear any of those screams? Nah, man. And you know, it's so crazy because I'm not I'm not artist too. Like, you know, anytime you can hear something like that, you want to stop the show. You want to make sure, you know, fans get the proper attention they need, you know. And I, anytime I could see anything like that, I did, you know. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I stopped like a couple of times to just make sure everybody was okay. And I just really just go off the, you know, the fans' energy as a collective. Because mm -hmm. you know? I'm like, did Call he stop? Response. Didn't he stop? What? I just didn't I just didn't hear that. You know, mm -hmm. I got music, I got my in ears, but I just didn't I just didn't hear that, you know? Break that down a little more. Like nope nobody knows what it's like being on stage except for other artists. So speak to us from that perspective of of what you can see in here. It was like what, fifty thousand people? Yeah, I mean you got like a all these lights, view, you know, all this noise, like these things uh -huh. in your ears. But it's like ear. a scene. You got lights, you got sound, you got pyro, you got, you know, you got your in-ears, you got your sound, you got your mic, you know, mm -hmm. got the music, you got band, there's all type of, you know, stuff going so on. So it's hard, it's hard to tell excitement from from, from danger, so to yeah, speak? Yeah, of course. Everything mm -hmm. kind of just sounds the same. And, any, and at the end of the day, you just hear music, mm -hmm. you know? And when you do, you just hear monks of things, you know? But you just, when you're in a show, you just enter the show, and anytime you can feel anything close to you, you know, you try to, like, definitely get to that. So so as an artist, how much can mm -hmm. you actually, I guess, help in that position? Maybe I'm you can only help what you so. can see, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then, what you know, whatever you told, you know what I'm saying? Whenever somebody tell you to stop, you just stop. But... So my thing is, hold on, let me pause this, because I'm a little confused. I am. I'm lost already. If I'm tripping y'all, please drop a comment below, because I'm confused, because I'm like, Charlemagne, from what I understand, am I tripping? But you asked the question, like, so did you stop? He's like, um, no, but yeah, I did stop. I'm like, what? Like, am I tripping? Like, and I'm not saying that to, like, pick on him. Don't get me wrong. Like, I fuck with Travis Scott. But I'm just kind of confused. I'm trying to make sure I hear this correctly. Because I'm like, 
I know as an artist, and I don't know, but I'm just hypothetically speaking. Like, if you're on stage, you got these lights, you got the people, your adrenaline is up. You here to put on a show, you know? And you see what's going on. I don't see where you actually stop. I will allegedly, I'm not going to be speaking on nothing that I don't know about. Because, again, I was not there. And, a, ooh, hmm. But I will say, like... Again, I wasn't there, but watching the videos and whatnot, I could have swore, allegedly, that I seen where they show where he stopped at one point. But I don't know. But it was like so many different scenes, so much going on. Like this done quiet down for me. Now, I ain't heard nobody talking about this. The families reaching out, what they doing for the families, what's going on with him legally. Not that it's any of our business. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just like... Are the families okay? It ain't even really none of our business for, as far as like, you know, what he got financially going on. Now we in his pockets counting his money and shit. No, that ain't got, no. You know, my thing is like, is he okay mentally? Like, imagine getting up. You getting up. You getting dressed. You're going to a concert to see your favorite artist or somebody that you really fuck with because you're spending money like this. Okay? To go. And I'm sure them tickets, you know, hey, they cost. I don't care what nobody say. Your outfit, your hair, your nails, your feet, your toe, if you a female. If you a dude and you take, you know what I'm saying? If you take care of yourself, your haircut, you know, manicure, boo, outfit. If you got your boo, boom, you know. Hey, long story short, you get a, y'all getting dressed. Y'all not thinking y'all finna die nowhere? Like, I'm going to a concert. If I go see E-40, I'm not assuming. Don't get me wrong. I know shit can happen. But people walking around doing that shit. Like I said, again, any video that I have ever, uh, when it comes to this and people passing away, I give the utmost respect to the families, the people that's going through this mentally. This young man as well, him even being brave enough to even come on and talk about it. It's a lot with that. I'm going to keep my own. I'm not going to say I won't talk about it because I'm going to tell you a lot. But again, I'm going to go into what I should be going into. I don't want nobody trying to judge or, you know what I mean, uh, all that extra shit. I don't give a fuck, really. But in that same token, like, the fuck? The fuck? Like, I don't understand this. I'm just lost. And, and it makes you be like, God damn, damn near all over the place and rewind and start over. This is like damn near like a Lifetime movie. Like, start over and rewind. Like, huh? Let me understand every single word that is being said so I make sure when I speak that I know what the fuck I'm speaking on and how I'm speaking on. Just be saying no shit. And yeah, I'm commenting on the background of shit because yeah, that's what I'm looking at and whatnot. But I also want to hear like, your thoughts what was your thoughts what was going on like you didn't think to stop you didn't see nothing like i don't know it's weird so yes y'all i'm about to rewind just a little bit back because i just want to make sure before i start speaking on some shit that i'm like okay that's what it is real quick though that's that night huh you know raging raging has been a part of the so, so you didn't know people that actually passed away nah, and stuff. Nah. Wow. Until minutes before, you know, mm -hmm. which is... Until minutes before, nah. Yeah. Until minutes you know, before. and at the thing is, like, you know, people pass out, you know, people, you know, things pass happen at concerts. Out. Oh, okay. But something like that. He thinking, oh, they passed just, out. Damn, oh, they passed away? Then he finding, like... <laughs> yeah, uh, people said they uh, collectively... Okay. They collectively heard sure. folks screaming help every time you stopped the song to get your attention. Did you did you hear any of those screams? Nah, man. And you know, it's so crazy because I'm that, I'm that artist too. Like, you know, anytime you can hear something like that, you want to stop the show. You want to make sure, you know, fans get the proper attention they need, you know? And I, anytime I could see anything like that, I did, you know? Mm -hmm. um, okay. You know, I stopped it like a couple times to just make sure. Okay, okay, was... okay. So I wasn't tripping. I wasn't tripping. I was not the fuck tripping. I was not. Okay. So he asked, he said, because the fans were screaming, help. Did you hear them? Did you stop? No. Or did you hear them? No, but no. Like, I don't know. That part right there got me confused. Because I'm like, T, what? Huh? Like, I don't know. All these people. But again, I seen where the fucking security people was. Hey, allegedly. 
allegedly seen when people was getting pulled. It was a lot going on. I'm going to put it like that. It was show the fuck a lot going on. And I just think that that's crazy as hell. Like, But anyways, let's tune the fuck back in. I wanted to rewind to that. And yeah, let me keep it pushing. Hey, and I just really just go off the, you know, the fans' energy as a collective, mm -hmm. you know, call a response. And I just didn't, I just didn't hear that. You know, mm -hmm. I got music, I got my in-ears, but I just didn't, I just didn't hear that, you know? Break that down a little more. Like, no, nobody knows what it's like being on stage except for other artists. So speak to us from that perspective of, of what you can see in here. It was like, what, 50,000 people? Let me hear yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, you got like a... Because I'm you, not you a Feel like 50,000 people. Mm -hmm. But it's like a scene. You got lights, you got sound, you got pyro, you got, you you know, got your in-ears, you got your sound, got your mic, you know, got the music, you got bands, it's all type of, you know stuff going on so it's hard, it's hard to tell excitement from 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 danger so yeah, to speak of course everything mm -hmm. kind of just sounds the same and, any, and at the end of the day you just hear music mm -hmm. you know and when you do you just hear monks of things you know but you just when you're in a show you just enter the show and anytime you can feel anything close to you you know you try to like definitely get to that so so as an artist how much can you actually i guess help in that position you can only help what you can see you know what i mean mm -hmm. And then, you know, whatever you told, you know what I'm saying? Whatever whenever you somebody told. tell you to stop, you just stop. Okay, wait. I'm stopping that right there. Whenever somebody tell you to stop, to stop. So, okay. So you mean to tell me y'all got all these people here, all these lights, and y'all didn't tell this man to stop? Like what? Like what? Y'all did that to T? Come on, y'all didn't tell this man to stop. Like, I'm just asking. I'm just asking, guys. What was going on with these people? Nobody seen. It was that many other people that didn't have control. It was that many guests. That means you guys really let y'all really overpack this motherfucker. Y'all overpacked it out like this to where you mean to tell me the authorities couldn't get through to nobody to say, hey, the fuck. Spray some shit in the air, some water. Put on the water hose in that egg capacity. Do something. I'd rather get wet. I'm going to fuck motherfucking, motherfucking Versace Gucci. I'm going to fuck what you got on. Wet that bitch down and let me make it up out of here. You figure they on me so I can fucking hear. And I'm the type of bitch, I don't want all you motherfuckers on me any goddamn way. So scoot the belt, fuck that. Like what? I don't understand. Nobody had control of the crowd. And then y'all let this man, and I can't even say y'all, but I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know who should take accountability for this. But I'm like, the fuck? Whoever was in control, I'm like, he's an artist. So he's up on stage trying to give the people what they want, what they pay for. Y'all got access to this man, okay? Yes, there's 50,000 whatever people, but I don't know where these people are passing out at. Like, he could see, you know what I mean? You could barely see this motherfucker. It's just one him going back and forth across this fucking stage. So I'm not, hey. I'ma keep it a stack. I can't blame this on Travis Scott. What I can say, Travis, as an individual, as an individual, okay? I'm not an artist, so I'm only speaking if I was in your shoes, okay? Now, again, I'm not going to the concert thinking, oh, people are finna pass out and die. I'm not, okay? And again, maybe these souls rest in heaven please lord jesus christ almighty god please and again let me just give a moment of silence let me just again one moment yes so again lord jesus please amen understand that this is tragic for everybody that's involved. His daughter was there, allegedly. is from, I think, I seen a picture. I don't know. But I think, don't give me the lying and shit, because I don't want to lie. But I think they was rushing her and her mom out, too, because I think she was at that concert. Quote me, I'm, quote me if I'm wrong. If I'm ever wrong, hey, comment just as much as you can like and subscribe. Comment, let a nigga know some shit. You figure down me? Hey, real shit. 
Let's talk about this. Because this is just crazy. This makes me be like, the fuck? I don't want to go to no concert. People, and again, allegedly, people are running around sticking people with shit. So maybe he not seeing them drop. Maybe he not seeing them pass out like, that's crazy. That he, this fucked up that they put him in this situation. That this young man has to go through that. Like, that is so sad. You could just look right now, even with it on pause with his face. He's just like devastated like her like i could see, like i feel your pain i feel these families pain i feel these victims pain and again may god rest they soul this is so very sad but this was so very brave for him to come out and just speak about it so let me tune back in y'all for real this is hey this is mind blowing real shit but this wasn't it wasn't that night, huh? You know, raging, raging has been a part of the culture, you know, of your shows. You know, you, you didn't on this night, but in the past, you've encouraged, I guess, the kind of energy that could have led to something like this happening. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah, think yeah. that contributed to the energy of this night? Yeah, no, nah, I think, you know, it's something I've been working on, you know, for a while um, of just creating these experiences and trying to show like the experiences happening in a safe environment. Mm -hmm. You know, us as artists, we trust, you know, professionals to make sure that, you know, things happen and people leave, you know, safely, you know what I'm saying? Um, and this night was just like a regular show, mm -hmm. you know, it felt like to me. Um, as far like as like, you know, the show? energy, people, it, it didn't feel like it was like, you know, people didn't, I don't, people didn't show up there to just be harmful. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. just, I think, showed up to have a good time and then, you know, something okay. unfortunate happened. And I think we really just got to figure out, you know, what that was, you know? Well, Does raging think? make it harder to identify when something is going oh, wrong in the crowd? No. Well, I think, you know, raging is just a, you know, they have a textbook, you know, definition. But, you know, in concerts, we've grown it to be just an experience of having fun. It's not about just, oh, harm. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. It's about just letting go and having fun, you no, know, no, no, no. help others. Okay, so raging. Raging, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up. But raving, like doing the raves, raving, I'm saying it wrong, but raves, like I said before in this last video, I don't know because I done had a lot of friends that do raves and they go and they have a fucking ball. I've never been to a rave, but they go and they have a fucking ball. And I'm talking about, and I'm hope that I'm speaking what he's speaking. I hope, my hope, if I'm wrong, Drop a motherfucking comment if I'm right. Hey, communicate. But rave to me, like, because there were some kids there. I'm like, y'all, I mean, young kids. Allegedly, if I'm speaking correctly, young, like, I almost think I see like a, a, a single number kid. Not teenage, not, sing, not double digits, but not seeing the picture. Y'all know, fuck, shit. Anyway, who too, but this is deep because I said, I'm like, okay, on the video that I seen before this, I'm like, yes, the rave type of thing with all the lights and the balls and the shit that be going on having you and they be having different type of drugs and shit there too. I know, I know my, man, I'm telling you, I don't judge. I got some motherfucking peoples that be out. Outside, 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 but they my niggas because they be like, yeah, this is what I do. I be out there, you know, hey, that's how I'm moving around, blah, blah, blah. but hey, nigga, you like to go out to lunch because I still like to go out and eat certain shit, so we kick it on them levels. You can't be judging people. You kind of get what I'm saying? Like, hey, to each his own. As long as they ain't harming you or trying to motherfucking pressure you to do some shit you don't want to do accept them and let them know hey this is how i rock boom this is how i move boom but i still fuck with you cool and as long as ain't no harm or nobody trying to step over boundaries boom i'm cool what's popping 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 anywho let me tap let me tap back in because this is really really deep y'all hey stay tuned with me stay tuned come on i hope while i'm pausing this shit Y'all like watching this shit too and also dropping a comment. These motherfucking comments should be flooded on like what is your outlook just on fucking 8 minutes and 28 seconds if y'all have seen this before or prior or what's your thoughts even if you just tuning in. 
Y'all see the veins in my neck? I'm serious about this shit because this was so sad. Let me tune back in. Let's tune in. You know, love each other. It's not about just, you know, harm. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 that's not what it's all about. The show isn't just rambunctious for an hour. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, that's not what it is. You know? oh, trust me, I grew up on crunk. <laughs> so, you know, I understand. You know, you just don't, you don't want it to get too out of hand. Yeah, yeah you but you know, the cold, you know, the energy is high. Hit somebody, you know? yeah. I know that. You know, that's why you want to just make sure that let me pause. Now, that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to talk y'all ear off, but we watching this together. I will say, okay, Charlemagne, thank you for jumping in on that. Because that crunk shit have you going and you'll be fucking around, boom, 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 fucking around, chest bump somebody or boo. And they like, what? You know, harm. That now, okay, now I'm getting, break it down for a nigga like me so I can feel it. Shit. Now, let's go. Okay. I feel that. You know, people are surrounded to make sure that people are just having the best experience. You know what I'm saying? You know, I can't say the energy is high, but you know, you want to make sure that people are there to, for people to, to get have turned the, the fuck up. Because I know when I yeah. be at you, you want people to have a good time. You don't want people to get yeah, hurt though. at all. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, God forbid, pass away. And, and, you know, it's typical for you to stop a show to make sure fans in the crowd get the help. You know they need there's even footage of that night of, of you doing that during the set were you unable to sense mm -hmm. like a difference in urgency this time around i mean yeah because you know you stop the show but you know you, you know if something's gonna happen if it's something detrimental somebody's gonna let you know you right. know or you know the show would just stop and you know that just wasn't the case you know i just kind of stopped the show you know you just ask you have a call and response with the fans um you try to you know generally get a response but you know if you don't get like a hard like stop. You, you stop, you yeah. know, it's just Keep you, going. you can't you just don't you just go off of what's going on, you know, which makes it so like so crazy because like, you know, if I feel like, if, you know, anyone would have known it would have just been like it wouldn't have got that far, you know. Mm -hmm. So well, well, what headspace were you in when you posted that uh, that initial that initial response video? I mean, it was, I think it had to have been the night of, you know, um, so. I was just in a when he allegedly went out? just trying to get a communication out to my fans. You With know? Drake um, or what? Like, I had little to no information, you know, so I was just trying to figure it out and just communicate to them, you know? Yeah, I was just uh, reacting just literally just to get something to the fans, you know? There's people that showed up. Do you regret that initial video? Do you regret reacting in that way or not, like, not having all the information before you said something? I mean... Yeah, because, you know, you, you just don't know what's going on. But at the end of the day, I don't, you know, I just wanted Travis, to get something out. You know, how my message came out, I can't, you know, I can only go off what I, you know, what I know. But mm -hmm. my true intentions of it, you know, was really just trying to get a message across. And, you know, I really wanted to just touch the fans, touch the families, you know, that we here, we grieving. Mm -hmm. And we'll get through this, you know, through this process. So, so what did you know in that first video? I mean, at, at that time, I think we just knew that, you know, people pass, mm -hmm. you know, um, we didn't know how, you know, that it was, you know, the news, you know, I think police came out and said something, um, you know, you're just going off of what you're seeing in the, in the, in the news, what? you know, Nitty you don't really know nothing. And then team. as the days go on, you start collecting a little bit more information. What? They said there was a, there was like chaos and trampling being reported since the early afternoon, like, like he hours said, before the show even started, saying. were you so informed you of it, any of that ahead of time? Well, no, like, um, and, um, you know, the police, he came, he came and, he um, talk to so my trailer and, he, you know, he congratulated me on, you know, the event and, you know, having something like this in Houston. He let me know that this, it was, uh, you know, mishap at the merch booth earlier. You know, they shut it down, but they opened it back up. They seemed to got it under control. You know, he was going to step out and just let us know if we need anything, you know, mm -hmm. have a good show. That was it. You know, um, m m a lot of the criticism, you know, from the tragedy, they say, is in the, the poor planning and understaffing of the of the event. As an artist, do you have any involvement in any of that? Well, I mean, we just do, as an artist, you just do the creative. And for this being my festival, you know, I got, you know, bring artists, you know, creatively produce it. And, you know, we just trust in, the, you know, the professionals to kind of just make sure that, you know, people, you know, are taken care of and, you know, leaving safely. You he know, I can't just talk like... Can you control what I can on the stage? And then, you know, you have the professionals control what they can in the crowd, you know? 
It's just hard because as an artist, right, you know, that means you that's not his fault. He's trying like to word it right because that, that nigga T going, and you, he going through some shit. You know, Let me pause you link this. With professionals to because he had to come out and speak on this because this was very touchy. But as you can see, he's he's maneuvering through the conversation. I hear him saying a lot like, you understand, you feel me, you get, you know what I mean? So that I hear him responding with a lot of that. Y'all also got to understand there's a lot of court shit going on. We ain't the only ones watching this video. So you really got to see how he move and how he talk. Because if he anything, boom. It's a motherfucking rap. Y'all should already know. But this is crazy. This is crazy as fuck. Handle that side of it, you know? And then, mm -hmm. you know. So he got to handle his side and they got to handle their side. want to know what's going on. I think that's what we got to figure out, you know? That's what I get out of it. Figure out what happened there, how it happened, you know? Right. You, you Why wasn't uh, shit? Houston police chief. His name is uh, Troy Finney. He came to you. And he, he said he voiced concerns over the, the crowd energy. So what, what did you and your team like do with that information? What you got? Well, I think that's what the media, um, I think that's what the media said, but I think it I think it read to more so that he wanted us to, he knew that our crowd was, you know, the type of crowd that comes, it comes at a heavy crowd. So to communicate with him, if we were doing anything outside of the week's itinerary, you know? Mm -hmm. um, that week we were doing like a lot of charity stuff prior to the festival. So, you know, the security, at most of the events, but you know, he was just letting us. You know, I guess in that statement, he was just saying it. Y'all should have more security. We had on our itinerary, itinerary to let him know. Mm -hmm. mm. But you know, we didn't even get to that point. I don't know. That's crazy to me. I think that's crazy. Like, how the fuck did y'all not fucking know? That shit's crazy as shit. Y'all don't want to hear that shit. With you for a little bit, like I can see that. You know, this is weighing real heavy on you. Hell yeah. yeah. So so how much do you do you feel a sense of responsibility for what happened that night? Well, you know, fans come to have a come to the show and have a good experience, you know? Um and I have a responsibility to to figure out what happened here. I have a responsibility mm -hmm. to figure out the solution. You know, and I gotta, and, and hopefully this takes the first step into, you know, us as yeah. artists, you know, having that more insight of figure what's out going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, you gotta do some investigation. You know, the professionals to kind of, you know, surround and figure out more of an intel, whether it's tech, whether it's, you know, more of a response, whether it's whatever the problem is, you know, um, to figure out that in, in, in the future, moving forward in concert safety. Mm -hmm. Make sure it just never happened again, you know? Well, let's this talk about those never like how, again. Much, how much responsibility do you think, like, Live Nation and Scoremore, the promoters, having all of this? I mean, you know, Equally, they do their job of, if not more. you know, setting these things up. So, I mean, I, I think, you know, they, they when we dial into what, you know, specifically happened here, I feel like, you know, even they can kind of help, you know, figure out what happened in a sense. I like how you talking um, to protect yourself. You no, know, but at see. the end of the day, I think collectively, everyone needs to just figure now, out let me tell you, solution. But, you know. Let me pause this. The reason why I like the way he talking is number one, y'all have to understand, okay? It's been a lot going on in this world, period. Period. But we talking about the most recent shit with, you know, our race getting killed. It's a lot of shit. People getting killed. Okay. I don't want to know. I don't know my subscribers ethic background and hey, I'm not here to judge. But hey, on the gang which happened. But anyway, with that being said, I just like how he's speaking on some way. If you're if you're able to look in and tune in to what he's saying to try to not so much justify or blame anybody or not even take accountability because he's doing that he's like hey i need to find out what happened but also i'm the artist i'm here i'm bringing this type of crowd i know what type of crowd i got going i know what type of people is going to come here that's going to show up i didn't know it was going to get like this though i didn't know it was going to be out of pack like this but hey y'all we we both put this together so what do we what where did we fuck up at that's what it sounds like he's saying to me. It looks like they still investigating 
And again, I didn't watch his video prior to this. I know he had one and people kind of talked about it, but hey, I was going through some shit at that time, probably looking at something else or anywho. But this right here caught my eye because I'm like, okay, you know, Charlemagne the God, you know, that motherfucker finna get from the beginning to the end type shit. So he did a lot of covering and shout out to Charlemagne the God, but on this video, so we can kind of touch bases on everything, you know? And based off of that, it sounds like we ain't even have to watch that video because it sounds like the way he said the question he asked him about when he came out with that first response, you come out with that first response, why did you come out like that? And what made you answer like that? Or did you know how many people passed? So I, it, that's where we could go off that conversation with us, without us having to, you know, re, fast forward, rewind and all that shit. But anywho, let's touch back in. Boop. Especially in concert safety, you know, definitely got to have, you know, make sure that, you know. Definitely, because I ain't going nowhere, right. God damn it. You think these festivals are too big, man? 50,000 people is a lot of people for anybody to control. Yeah, their, their festivals are bigger. Mm hmm You know, way bigger. But do y'all have the security? Y'all you know, should. I just think it's not about the maximum of it. I think it's about the attention to what's going on mm -hmm. um, and how it's going on. And as long as that's handled, I feel like, you know, things can be, you know, can go okay, uh, will be okay, you know? But if you look at it through the history of festivals, you know, um, this isn't the first time it happened. It's been a long history of this, you know? So I feel like if you look at the overall, you know, view of that, and you kind of like dial in, okay, what can we do better to fix this overall for general concert safety? I think we figure out the problem, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and make it better for people to have better live experiences. Mm -hmm. Live Nation um, reportedly agreed to end the concert early after the Houston PD and the fire department declared it a mass casualty event, but the concert continued for another 40 minutes. Was there ever any, ever any communication to you on stage that you should end this? Well, yeah, I mean, they just told me right after, you know, the guests get, get off stage, you know, we're going to end the show. You know, and that's what we did. You know, other than that, there was no other communication. You know? Oh, so after, you mean after the guests, what you mean? Yeah, after the guest comes out, okay. we're, going, we're going to end the show. But it wasn't communication on why, you know, it was just, you know, that's what came through my ears. You know? Oh, so they didn't say stop now? No. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Stop, no, no. Wow. Do you, do you feel like people are forcing more responsibility on you because you are the front man, because it was Astro World? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm the, you know, I'm the face of the festival. You know, I'm, a, I'm an artist, you know. Um, so, yeah, you know, the media is, you know, they, yeah, they want to, you know, put it on me. And, but at the end of the day, it's like, you? I don't think it's more so about that. I think it's more so about, um, Make stepping sure. up to figure out what the problem is. Yeah, I could take that. Let's go. I could take, you know, stepping up to figure out what the problem is. I could take stepping into figuring out the solution that never happened again. Because that's what I generally want to do in general, even just for my community. You know, mm -hmm. the whole idea for why I brought this festival to the city was to, you know, show that Houston is something different. You know, and show that there's all different types of lives, all different type of energy. Let's go. Team. And just bring that morale to the city. Okay. Um, just bring that energy to the city. So I definitely want to, you know, step in to figure out. You know, I don't know about how that can energy, we fix this but in the future? shit. What can we do <laughs> bro, I need some good energy you know, to be brought there. Change but... the things, you know. Do you feel like you did everything you possibly could to help in in that situation? Yes. Yes. Anything I physically can, for sure. Yes. You know, and it, and, it, and, it, and it just, you know, if knowing, you know, what's going on, you know, you would just wish, you know. Don't you would have stopped you know, sooner? I, if you, you know, could have done something better, you know, but There's standing There's always there, something that could have been done better. A thousand percent. You know, we know that the, the, the families of the people who passed are definitely watching this right now. And you know, there's nothing you could say to heal the trauma these families who lost loved ones are, 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 are you know are going through. But being that you know they're watching, what would you what would you say to them directly? I'll say to them that I'm I'm always here, and that you know I'm you know I'm I'm in this with you guys, and I love you, you know, and I'll always you know be there to help you guys heal through this. And I, I understand that they're going through 
you know, they're grieving right now and finding understanding right now. And, you know, it's not just like a right now thing, it's a for everything. Forever. Um, I'm glad and you... And these people that came to the show, they are my family. And I've always had that connection to the people I feel like that listen to the See, music or came to my shows. T. And that's why I really... Where am I speaking to soon? You know, it's really hard on me even just, you know, to even like, you know... Talk about it? And even... Cause you know they end up they 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 lost they they lost their loved ones you know mm-hmm. so it, it it's hard you know it's it's tough um, and you know I just want to always just be there for them and just always just be able to just know that I'm a fix this for the future people you know and and fix this solution. Um, and fix this problem. Right, you, you know, gotta find um, out what happened. And find a solution to see what you can make do. sure that this doesn't happen in the future. Um, and definitely be a number one voice for this, you know. Well, that's good. Because that, you know, I feel like that's like one of the, what we, what we got to figure out. Because other than that, it's like, you know, the show goes on tomorrow or, you know, something mm-hmm. goes, how does, the, how yeah, does this so get fixed? This doing? could happen again. It's happened before. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, you're a father. You know, God forbid when your kids are of age, if they're in a situation like this, you know, I want you to put yourself in those parents' shoes right now. What would what would you want to see come of this right. situation? If Tell you, me, that's what I want to know. I, I want to see people you. put their hands together. Put your head well, together and come with an answer. Really figure this out. Shit. Not take this lightly, you know? I me mean, as a parent, I ain't figuring um, out shit. Really Y'all act better on come it. with some answers. Um, and that's, you know, that's one of the main things that's important. I feel like they got to just act on I it. It can't just be like saying, something but that parent, happens and no. it just roll over. Y'all better figure it out. It got to be something that's taken serious and addressed seriously. Yes. And things formed around it, time and a lot of a lot of time and a lot of, you know, thinking power spent on this. You know, what's being and done? Really fixing, you know, whatever system. Maybe I ain't got to that point of video. Fixed, you know, from from the lawsuits to the media coverage, do do you feel like you're personally under attack? I mean, I mean, yes or no, nigga. I mean, yeah, you, I mean, you see a name in it, in it and shit, and it's like... Yes. But, you know... That shit affects you, but you like... At the end of the day, you step in these, you know, you like, step in one of the festival, off, right? and, you know, when you, when you want to do things, you and you want to build up, you know, know it shit. comes with certain things, right? So, I think it's all about how you respond to it, and I think it's all about how you react, right? That so, is so true. I could feel that way, but I think more so about... It's more about how I feel about the response that I that mm-hmm. I that I'm that I care about more so, which is what are you, gonna you know do? actually, you know, trying to step in and you know really step up to really fixing what's happening and and really step up for the safety of concert goers or people mm-hmm. in in just live spaces. Period. I wonder. Mm-hmm. I wonder is there a way to even prepare for this? Because nobody, like you said, when you're doing the planning for a show like this, nobody is planning for this to happen. So how do you, right. how do you even prepare for something like this to happen? Get I don't know. And, uh, I feel like when we get, I feel like when it comes capacity. out a little bit more how this could have happened, I feel like that's how we can kind of attack that. But even I was thinking of ways like tech solutions. You know, people even come into these festivals festival. with these bands that only scan you in. Mm-hmm. Right, you have you know you have all type of tech now that can track your heart, 
um, can track your, you know, oxygen levels, can track if you're going to be sick. Um, you can put things now if you're going to be, you know, get lost. It's all type of ways now I feel like that can be the band that only gets you access to entry or to a food line or to food trucks can now be soluble to helping save lives, you know, mm -hmm. um, can now be more of a response to people that are now on site and on ground. Um, I feel like what? that could be a way, or you Asking know, even just figuring out to tell you that danger is what around, the exact maybe? solution, um, what the exact problem of it was, and dialing more into that. I think you can kind of. I feel like there is a way. Mm. I just think it needs to be time spent on figuring that figuring that out. Have, have you been able to have any What's personal conversations with shit? any of the families who lost loved ones? I was able to, um, but. You know, I just want to just respect the, you know, the privacy of the conversation. And mm -hmm. um, I'm thankful for them for even allowing me to have the conversation. That's good. So, yeah. how, did, how did you feel when some of the families rejected your offer to pay for the funerals? All things are understandable. And, you know, mm -hmm. at a the time they're grieving and they're trying to find understanding and, you know, they want answers. And it, it's not about, well, it's not about that, you know. Um, I'm always going to be here. You know, to want to help them. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's, it's not going to start, you know. Man. I got to continue to just show up for that, you know. Um, mm. I just wanted to make sure that the they knew that I was there. Young man. So. For them, you know what I mean? And continue and to be there for families. them. Um, I think that's just more so man. what it's They're about for that. So. Um, yeah. They're hard. Some people say um, your, your, your music played a role in this. Like, I've seen them, you know, cite lyrics. You know, that encouraged this kind of behavior. I've seen him say your music is demonic and this was a satanic ritual. Damn. You, you think your music is to blame? I mean, no. I'm a, I mean, one, I'm a man of God. So that's the first thing first. And, um, you know, so it's just, yeah, that's that. These people be tripping. And, you know, your music is just like self-expression. You know what I'm saying? And, at these shows, I feel like people kind of like look at things. And if you've been to a Travis show, it's, it's been Stereo different class? layers of shows, you know? I, I think people are just, you know, misconceptions and taking things they're seeing and, you know, all type of things, you know? Um, and I've, 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 I've took pride in trying to, you know, grow from where I was when I first recorded music to now where I'm going in music. Um, so, yeah, I just think people got to... And, and that's one thing with me is just got, people got to kind of, um, you know, experience it sometimes. And I think that's what it was. You know, people were kind of like, even before people were hearing about it, they come and experience it and taking away their own thing. And I've, it's always going to be an outside opinion. But, you know, for the ones that, you know, really believe in me and, you know, understand what, we're, you know, what I'm about and what I'm doing, no, that's not. That's not what I'm, you know, I'm preaching. I always preach like love, always preach understanding, always preach, you know, take care of your loved ones, love each other. You know what I'm saying? Get out your ideas. Never let, never let yourselves be stopped, you know? And that's good. Love one another that's and step awesome. into that. But you know? my only thing um, with that is I'm just like, y'all got to figure out something with these families. Y'all got to be able to tell these families something. Come on, y'all. For real. Something took place and yeah, I get all that, but we need an answer. Yeah, but the music does encourage people to be violent at, at these shows. I mean I mean that's what the rage is about. I mean, I mean let me pause this. Most of the music Let me pause this, okay? Because I feel like the music, if you go to a oldies but goodies, you gonna get that group. Just a step in the name of love. Just the two of us. Yeah, you know, that's that group. If you go to that rock, you're going to get your rock. You know, eh, fucking eh. If you go to your dynamic shit, you're going to get that. Whatever you going for, that's what I feel like you're going to get. You know what I mean? I don't listen to Travis Scott like that. I probably done heard a few songs, so I really don't know the man's music like that. So I don't want to be speaking on shit. But, um, again, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think because these are some crazy questions. And they're not crazy. They're good questions. But the feedback that I'm getting from him, he's not going in depth. You know what I mean? Like, me personally, on that, on that um, fucking 
being, you know, demon, believing in the devil, I feel like there's good and there's bad. I don't give a fuck. Whatever you put out in the universe, that's what's going to come back. Yes, I believe in God. That's up to whatever anybody else wants to believe in. Okay? Baptist religions and all that. I'm not finna go through all of that. I'm not. Because me personally, I've been through a lot of shit in life. And what I mean by that is even with religions. Oh, well, your last name is this. Oh, well, you go to this school and you dress this and you've been baptized and a whole bunch of stuff. So, as I grew older and again, that's a whole nother video. We'll talk about that later. But... I don't feel like separation. I feel like everybody can have their own beliefs. If you're Catholic, if you're Baptist, okay. If you're atheist, okay. As long as you're not doing shit to hurt, destroy, or take anything that can hurt people, anything. Y'all know what the fuck I'm saying. Don't act like y'all don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Anything that you're doing, you know when you get that sensation, if you, hey, I'm speaking off facts, check it, let's keep it a stat. You know when you get that adrenaline when it's time to fight. You know when you get that adrenaline when it's time to protect. You know when you get that adrenaline when you're doing something that you ain't got no motherfucking business doing. You know when you start believing in shit, you believe in sh certain things, okay? So... With that being said, it's all a mind thing to me. That's what I really believe it is. And I feel like you should have your own mind. You speak what you want to speak. Believe in what you want to believe in. But as long as you ain't, like I said, hurting nobody or... And again, no, no offense to Travis Scott. But this incident that took place with these lives, I think that's fucked up. I truly do. I think it's very sad that this took place. Um, I think it's good on his perspective as far as, like I said, I see how he's speaking. I understand as if I was Travis Scott, I understand him. If I was talking to him, I understand why you're speaking the way you're speaking because this shit just happened. Not only that, with the legal stuff going on, you got to protect yourself. You don't know what's, it's a lot of uh, pieces involved. Okay. So that's why I can't just come for him and be like, but I'm also me a viewer watching. I'm like, damn, you know, if I didn't know what I what I feel like I know, then I would be like, okay, you beating around the bush. But I don't feel like I feel like he's protecting himself. Cause just like Charlemagne said, these families is watching this shit, nigga. Come on, slip up if you want to, so we can hang your ass or do whatever needs to be done to fucking a destroy you. If that's what needs to be done, I don't know. Sacrifices, all that shit. You y'all know, like for real. YouTube will show you or tell you so much and a lot of shit. And you know how these stories be out here and these fucking rumors. And y'all know how they be trying to put shit together. If you date this, if you do this, if you got a baby, if you do that. All that shit is allegedly. You feel me? But with that being said, because it's out there, it has so many different people. Because everybody have their own opinion. Like, damn, this nigga fuck. Woo, 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 woo. Nigga, that's fucked up. You knew what was going on. You knew. But... If you wasn't there and if you're not him or if you wasn't in that situation, nobody could speak on it really, but him. Nobody knows but him and God. So right now, like I said, me watching this video, damn near 30 minutes in, on some legal shit, I understand why you talking the way you talking. Okay? As a viewer, I would be like, you know, if I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be in the business. Hey, I need you to tell me a little bit more. The fuck? What do you mean? What are y'all talking about? What have y'all done? Y'all did any court? Y'all did fishing for, you know, for more information to find out. Damn, they're like an attorney type shit. The fuck? So, I get all that too. Then you also have the family members that's like, he's speaking. You know what I mean? Like, and then you got some like, I don't want to hear this shit. Just fuck it. You know, and hey. It's a lot. It's a lot of emotions. And there's so much going on in this world today. Like all kind of shit. This is not the only deni uh, excuse me, demon. I don't even know how to say the word dynamic all like that. But demon and shit that's going on in the world. And I'm not saying his was demon. Don't get me, you know, jacked up. I'm just speaking because of the words that they're using. And I'm trying to relate to this conversation. So with that being said, I'm going to tune back in. I don't know. 
this is deep, y'all. This is deep. Um, I don't know. This may be split up in two because I don't want to bore y'all or whatnot, but it's very long. Tune in, tune in, tune the fuck in. For real. And tune in. I'm telling my viewers to tune in that be fucking around with this type of shit. Like numerology, your sign, your date of birth, your the letters in your name. Hey, y'all, shit gets deep. And I'm not saying get crazy. Don't get me wrong, like I said. But I like looking into that shit. I'm very adventurous and very spiritual and very, you know, loving. Don't get me twisted. Bitch got an evil side to her. Everybody do. Real shit. Like, don't get it twisted. But that's not my purpose here on earth. You know what I mean? For real. My purpose is to love, protect, give, be a blessing to others, learn you know what I mean? Give knowledge, whatever the fuck. All positive shit. That's my purpose. I don't want to be mean. I don't want nobody being mean to me. But shit happens in life. Again, only way I feel myself doing anything is if I have to protect myself. But other than that, yeah, that was a lot, y'all. I hope y'all dropping these comments as I'm talking. Like, what are y'all thinking? The fuck? What are my supporters thinking? The people that watch me, like, are y'all feeling me? Are you like, hey, nah, you know... Auntie, Mom K, whatever, however you feel, K, la la, whatever, you know, like real shit, because p mental health is big. I don't give a fuck. This deals with mental health. I don't give a fuck when nobody say you cannot tell me nigga that your sister, brother, sibling, child, whatever, got up, went to a concert, and fucking died at the concert, and all these rumors and alleged things are going on. First, allegedly, it was somebody was going around poking people with drugs. Then it was, oh, they took drugs. Then it was the music. Then it's, it's the fuck? Like, huh? Yeah, it's deep, y'all. So that's what I'm asking for my supporters. You drop a, drop some comments. Tell me what your thoughts is. What are you thinking about this conversation that Charlemagne and fucking Travis the Scott is having? Like, what do you think about this shit? Ain't it crazy? Ain't it deep? And not only that, what would you do right now if you was Travis Scott? If you was Travis Scott, what would you be doing? Me? I would be doing a lot of the things that he's doing, being at the, the level of status that he's at. Yes, having an interview, but that first interview, uh-uh, uh-uh. I learned my lesson on having, going through shit and then boom, just dropping shit and boom, just saying shit. Hey, hey, anyways, we're going to talk about all that later, but this shit is deep, man. I'm praying for you, Travis Scott, but I'm also praying for those families. And I'm not saying but to say... Travis, I'm not. Like, literally, I'm playing for Travis Scott and those families. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Lord. Figure out what took place. What's going on? Again, let's tune in. This is me sometimes talking about what I see at the shows. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Well, right. if I'm talking about the shows. You know, and so it's just, that's just, you know, the energy. You know what I'm saying? But the energy isn't to come and start, you know, being ultra violent and just being violent and hurting each other, that's not, that's not what it's about. So it's more so supposed to be entertainment. Yeah, it's everything is, you know, mm -hmm. and it's about what you experience at the, you know, at the shows and what you see, you know. Would this change the content of your music moving forward, you think? You know, what happened, you know, what happened here wasn't off Travis Scott music. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, that wasn't, Oh, now you need to like speak to what y'all think. No, I mean, I've made all different type of musics and I mean, music in the first place, you know? Um, I've never was just like one lane or one genre of anything in the first place. So I just think it's all about experiences and I feel like, you know, you know, it could be music to come well, out Well, don't drop no more music like this, Travis. Of, just emotion. Uh, you know, music is emotion. It is. Um, That's going to cause this. You know, not to be mean to you, Music is healing. Fuck. Um, Drop some healing and, shit. You, know, you can just but, find healing and find emotion, and, you know, in that. You know, I need that um, good, good energy. That good, good. You know, everything I'm trying to do is just more I keep doing my hands like you this. You said you're a man of God, so and when I even said that, this. you know, they say your music is satanic. I saw the face that you made. What do you, what do you think that even comes from? Travis Scott is satanic. Travis Scott is. I just demonic. think it's just 
things people collect, you know, people look at the internet and they just collect and they look at things and they look at visuals and, you know, we have all these theorists and people just thinking they're looking at visuals and don't understand, you know, just the idea of like what art may be or what, what you're trying to do, you know, they're just making up your own message, especially when you're not out there like yelling the message all the time. You know, it's just, yeah. And when they say this is a community event, Astroworld. Yeah, it's a, so they say a community event is a satanic ritual. How does that? Yeah, make it's you like feel? it's 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 mm-hmm. it's crazy because you know it's like I do this for people to have a good time. You know, we have rides, we have games. You know, it's things for people to get off creative experiences. It's not you know the show is at the end of the day. You know, it's like mm-hmm. you know, and that show is just something based on on what's you know just just things. You know, no, it's not no. like. What? Like, why would we wake up one day and just trying to, it's just, that's just evil that's not what we're a part of. Mm-hmm. We're not trying to be a part of that. We're trying to be a part of joy. We're trying to be a part of light. We're trying to be a part of full-blown happiness, love, you know, understanding, people taking care of each other. Mm-hmm. You know, community, people to lead from these experiences and want to go out and do good. Mm-hmm. That's literally what we want, you know? We want to show them these things, you know? We put everything into the, you know, this is, you know, this festival, you know, this is our third year, you know? So mm-hmm. we try to put, you know, we every year we put everything into the festival so people can enjoy it. You know, it's not about even just come perform. Mm-hmm. That not that, you know, it's things for them to do all day. Mm-hmm. Um, and different artists like from the experience what? too. Mm-hmm. What do y'all be doing? I Have the know, trauma of what this tragedy impacted festival? your desire I know to perform in the future? Um, I've, I've always seen performances um, of art of healing for me. That's why I've always been so into it, I, you know, I don't know if you like, you know, looked at like some of the growth from where I tried to take performance. I've, I've always tried to, I feel like it's the art of feeling. I feel like it's a moment where people have a mutual understanding. You know, and I feel like the first things first, Anything before anything, be man. is that we address, you know, a lot of down. safety concerns. I think mm-hmm. the first things first yes. is that. Address it. Because not even just for me, you don't want other, you know, artists, artists to have to go. People. And, uh, Take a part Families. of that trauma, take a part of that experience, take a part of that, you know, that fear. You don't want concert mm-hmm. girls to still be a part of that fear. They want, mm-hmm. you, want you want them to feel safe. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's just the first things first. And Do I that think first. You're right. Once we take major steps into moving in that direction, you know, I feel like, you know, it could be cool to for, for people to practice that healing again, you mm-hmm. know, and understand that i don't think people should run away from it and shy away from it i think you know it's it's a it's a form of healing you know you know no matter what you do at any of your shows in the future regardless of how much security how much safety you put in place you cannot control human behavior yeah yeah, yeah. you can't control that's true. 40 50 000 you cannot people doing that's whatever what i'm saying people doing. some that's people scary. gotta take accountability too. i mean yeah but you know you also put trust in the fans too to you know just have a good time yeah, you, know, you like, just re that. You don't know who's you know, coming in and out. You that continue to practice, you know, when you're on stage to just remind them, you know. Um, and even when they're there, you to just constantly the have show, just to remind them, like, well, Yo, you're doing whatever. Good time. I still don't think it's fair, man. Y'all you know, look into you know, um, this. I think it's just continue to re that message. I know, I know, I'm getting hyped, y'all. Yeah, so after a while, was one of, you know, several ways you gave back to Houston. Do you think you've, you know, lost that privilege? to do that to be honest i, have, I haven't really like thought about that because i've just been thinking about just community healing mm-hmm. and you know the family's healing and you know all those know things kind of build it back up um, like that, that, that could take forever though that you know i don't know if you ever truly heal yeah from these type of situations yeah and you know but you know through these things you know like i say music is part of healing mm-hmm. and at the end of the day um I don't, I just don't think, you know, a Travis Scott show or, you know, an Astroworld show, you know, wasn't the bottom line factor of what happened here, you know? And I think we just got to figure out what that was, what happened. Mm -hmm. But, you know, having a Travis Scott show, you know, we've done shows, you know, all over. That wasn't the, you know, what happened here, you know, something that happened here, you Mm -hmm. know? And that's why we want to fix it because it can happen anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think once we get further along in that, I think, you know, you know, it'd be more a little bit more receptive, I feel. Just just you as an individual, when you perform Mm -hmm. again, what precautions will you take moving forward? Just you. Just 
Based off what you can Nobody else, what, what T. What precautions would you take moving forward? That is deep. That is so sad, man. Uh, man, those families. Again, I give my condolences. That's all I can really say because that's so sad. I just feel sorry for everybody Making sure everybody is on, on post and, you know, I'll do the, you know, d double down on just making sure that everyone is locked in. Everyone mm -hmm. is aware. Everyone is on response. Everybody is on... That's what you, you know, don't have to do, man. Because that's on the yard. You know what I'm saying? Admit, I think, or, look out. I don't know. Shit. Try to, you know, if you felt like it wasn't there more, push for it to be more. Push the call and response more with the fans. Like, what do you mean? Like, are y'all you, you okay? Or, you know, or like, you know, try to have some sort of call and response with the fans mm -hmm. while still being smooth in the performance. Because at the end of the day, it's still performance art. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Get out um, there. And that's why the whole general whole oh, idea about this is you want to make sure that is all these factors are are done before we even go into these things, you know? Mm -hmm. um, because you want to just, when you go in, you want to have the mindset that, okay, people are going to be okay. We can have a good show. If anything's going down, people are going to be right there to be the first one to get to them, you know? And if there's going to be any communication, it's, you know, communication, but, you know, I think, yeah. When you did stop the show, how did you see that one person? I mean, they, he was right there, you know? You had, mm -hmm. like, you had people, like, just spread it out, mm -hmm. you know? And so I'm looking, and I'm like, oh. So I just called down, and, you know, the medics just came in, responded, got him out, you know? That's, that's, that's the only one you saw that. that. Seen yeah, that's the only one I saw. And then, you know, when I seen um, the lights in the back, you know, I just double-checked, make sure everyone was okay. You know, I got a response that everyone was okay. Yeah. How normal is that to see ambulances and everything else at these festivals? Well, it was a, it was lights, so you know, am, and ambulances don't really have like red and blue lights, you know. Um, oh, so you thought it was? I, I don't. Yeah, you don't know. You just you just looking at his what? lights. That's why I ask. I'm mm -hmm. just like, yo, is it an ambulance? Is like, what's going on? You mm -hmm. don't know if it's like somebody got some lights up there, doing what, you know, doing some turn. You don't know, you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, I didn't get a response, so. Mm -hmm. You know, we, you know, you got a response from the fans. You know, I actually everyone put a hand up. Um, and then, you know, okay. I yeah, to see, else, that's so what I was saying. Just carried on. Okay, but, but you can feel judged up. when you see what's, what's videos, going on? you know, circulating of other artists stopping their shows, like the check on fans since, since Astroworld. It's almost like the insinuation from other artists is that, like, you didn't do enough, so we don't want to be like Travis. I take it as, you know, they're just taking extra precautions, mm -hmm. you know, because. It might not have been something that, you know, That's was running through the mind. You gotta take it, shit. Because that shit already happened. And, and just again, Travis, you need to focus on figuring out a solution. To, you Let know, these make sure they don't do run through the same same problems. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants I that issue. I commend them for that. You know, I, I've always done about. the same thing. You know, in my prior shows and at this show, so I, you know, I feel them. You know, I just think it's been a little bit more. People are more captured it now, like. Because of what's going on, I think that's just how the media works. Do you feel like your team right now is allowing you to do everything that you possibly could do? And as far as what? Just as far as like anything in regards to this situation, you know, speaking out, well, reaching out to families, whatever. Well, yeah, you know, and, you know, it's a lot of legal into it, but at the end of the day, I'm, you know, I'm human, so I want to do so much to try to like help and heal and you know you want to give time for people to heal you want to give time but you know i want to be able to like go and start taking these steps to you know addressing these you know these problems and you know getting to the solutions you know addressing the solutions and yeah, addressing ways to wait. fix these things from happening in the future right. like um and i think that's the main thing and i've always took a i've always took pride in trying to lead things and go and attack things and, you know, be the first to jump out and go do it, you know? So I'm, I'm, I'm more than, you know, well, go do happy it, T. To go. Fix but, but this shit. But then there's shit. the person Travis Scott, but then there's the business of Travis Scott. So yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of people around you trying to protect the business. Yeah. So for you personally, like, you know, how much 
do, do, do you want to protect the business as well? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, like, all right, so this part right here, businesses aren't built. I'm going to go ahead and stop on that because I ain't worried about what the businesses want. Like, for real, for real, we could chop it up and talk about it. Like, some of the questions now, the main questions I feel like I got. You know what I mean? I just don't feel like on this part, the business and all that, I'm not tripping off of that. There is too many families. That's what I'm worried about. How is these families living? How are they healing? What process are, is being taken or taken? Excuse me. So, how are we going to move forward, though? How is this not going to happen again? And what are the artists, the other artists doing as far as us having these big festivals, knowing that you got a lot of people that fuck with y'all, love y'all, y'all know that anything can take place. I need y'all to look in more. Me, personally, this is me talking, okay? So, again, like I said, I'm giving my look outlook on that. But as far as that business side, hey... At the state of mind that I'm in right now, I'm not saying you can't listen to both. Don't get me wrong, yes. But right now, me, if it was me, a victim, my family, this part I would be like, okay, yeah, you know, you do have the ones I will be like, okay, I will listen to it. I was the business side taking care of this. Well, I hope that y'all doing everything that the fuck y'all can to make sure these families got everything that they need, won't, um, again, pay for, and again, it goes back. To the same thing in the beginning. How did this happen? Even if you found out how, what are you going to do to prevent it from happening again? If it's the music, are you going to change your lyrics? What's, what's going to happen? What? What is going to change the energy? Because one thing I will say about listening to this, I did hear Mr. Scott say uh, the energy a lot. Energy, energy, energy. So... I keep hearing energy, energy. What is going to take place? Like, what's going to happen? Really? And what are these cops going to do? The security guards, when y'all at these concerts, is there a capacity that y'all going to start doing at the damn festivals? If y'all can see that this happened at 50,000 or however many people was there, stop, God damn it! At a certain number, the fuck? Put the people first, because apparently some of these people is not understanding. If they don't understand it all motherfucking well, that's when you start individually locking these motherfuckers up or sending their ass home. Shit sold out, whatever the fuck you need to do. Figure it the fuck out, but yeah, I, it's, I need somebody to make some sense. Like, really, 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 you know? Again, like I said, I don't think it's all Travis this far. Um, I like the way he's speaking. But there needs to be a resolution. All this, we can have 50,000 interviews, but what is the resolution? The next interview or the next thing I hear about this? Oh, this was a comp. This was taken care of. A resolution. That's it. I'm going to turn this back on real quick and see. But, hey, we might be fast forwarding through this, y'all. And not to be disrespectful to him or Charlemagne, but I'm just like, you know, for real, for real. Because... You know, you Charlemagne, I'm Travis. So it's like, mm -hmm. I've always cared about, you know, the fans. I don't give a, you know, it's about them. Okay. You know, so it's like, we don't obviously care about it's like this that. and this, but I've always been the one that's like pushed back on vocally. Like, yo, you know, we got to, you know, this is about, you know, the fans. And, you know, the right. team has always felt the same way. Good. Um, and so and Good. anytime I've ever done anything corporately, that's just how I've always been. It's just like, yo, we want to go do things to make sure that the people that are experiencing this product is having the best experience. It's not about, you know, what we can do, like uh, the, the, the numbers. Like, yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's not fucking matter. what we chase here. We chase for people yeah. to have the best experience. You know, we want people to have, enjoy themselves. We want people to walk away with, like, just ideas. Like, well, Mm -hmm. This is like, you know, amazing. They say that there's no permanent friends or enemies in business. So, you know, if, if anybody decides to back away from Travis Scott on a corporate level, checking up the deuces. No, but um, I've never jumped into Travis things with people that didn't know me. Being a better person. So, everyone I surrounded myself with, you know. It's always been, you know, a backbone and, you know, supportive 
to anything I, you know, I want to do to help fix anything that could be a, a good cause, you know. So, you know, I'm thankful for that, you know. If the families of the victims never forgive you, will you ever be able to forgive yourself? Can you live with that? <sighs> That's deep. No, nah, it's tough. Yes, I feel you. No, I was real be tough. Like, Damn. Um, because I, I want them to really know that. I'm sorry. I apologize. My intentions. And I did not mean. You know. I would need someone. Wasn't, you know, it wasn't to harm their family at all. It's for them to come to have a good experience. Um. You know, and I. I'm gonna need some yeah, reborn like, again. Know, juice. I've always feel like I have a connection with my fans. You know, yeah, through the music. I, please forgive me. I feel like when they come to see me, it's not just like, oh, they're coming. They they come in a. It's like a connection. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, That's sometimes not knowing, you, you know, people not understanding like artists and where we come from, it, that it could be a disconnect. And you know, I would love to, you know, instill that understanding, and you know, for them to truly know where my heart's from. You know, it, it didn't come for them to, for me to harm, and it just wasn't about a show to keep, you know, at all. You know, it's a, you know, it's about for them to have. Let them know. You know, one of the, you know, very good time. And, the best way you can. That it, That's it gonna be tough though because people that, that don't fuck with you. You feel like you're being villainized. Yeah. I mean, I, th I feel like it comes with being in a seat. You know, and I feel like they pointing the finger at me because it's my festival or they want to, you know, it's. I, I am who I am, you know. And it, maybe not a lot of like understanding about like what's going on, but you know, like I said before, I feel like I can kind of like take that um, in a that's sense. That's not your focus. Um, Cause my whole career, I feel like people have been trying to do that, and yeah, I feel like I've like shown through actions that that's not my character. What. This is something that's tragic. Not, you know, Focus on that's the not lives. Who I am. I'm, I'm, I'm shining through positive, you know. Um, and I feel like you know, with understanding and with everything, I feel like. You do understand good, that, Travis, what, what which I'm, heart I'm liking how you speak it, villain, you know? for you to be oh, a young man like and there by yourself. You know, the day before Astro World, um, this Hopefully footage this of you discussing was, the importance you know, of giving back shit. to your community and how much he it went means to this you before. to be able to do that. Do you think people have he forgotten, answered. you know, your heart and all this and what Astro World is truly from... about? This is really sad. It's deep. And like I said, for everybody that it is involved in this, man, this is really deep. I never, like, damn, y'all. A grieving, and it can get, it can get, you know, misplaced with, you know, who cares about that, what's going on right now. Um, but, you know, like I said, um, I just want to continue to, you know, stay on those stepping blocks and continue to do the charity. Uh, continue to I've grow, continue, continue, continue to give, continue to try and find ways to Houston, fix you know? this, what happened. Um, I was doing those things before and not looking for people to pat me on the back for them. You know, I was just doing them right. just simply just to make a change. Um, don't look for it so now, sugar, you know. You would be surprised if people don't, you know, pay attention to some of those things um, throughout whenever you are doing them. But that's not what you're doing for, really. So I, I feel Social like at the end of the day, you will eat your ass things, up if you let them. Um, regardless, you know? You think you'll ever be able to recover from this emotionally? You know, my grandmother, my dad, my mom, they've always told me to, you know, put your faith in God and hide behind his wing. Um, and Let's go. Get at the end of the day, I think you got to... Do I've, I've always told myself, you know, things are going to get it's hard, you know. Things can be feeling amazing sometimes, and things can get real hard, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think... Living witness. How you respond to things and where yes. you channel your emotions is very important, you know, especially at I'm a time like this. I'm working on that. Um, and I gave my... You know, it was, it was hard for me to really... Because it, it was the first time anything like this... I've even seen anything like this, heard of it, and it would be happening, to you know, me. to uh, this whole yeah. community, you know. Um, it just, it the just, community you know, to yourself. you kind of just, you want to be able to channel that emotion to just respond, Lord and Jesus. you got to be strong, man. Um, 
stepping in and doing the things for the community doesn't come with being, you know, too weak. You got to be right. able to, you, gotta be strong. you know, step through these things and you show people that you overcome. really, like, you yep, really no care. Matter how many you know, this wasn't just to me, get I'm to the point to do this, but it was really to create active change, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think, Stand you know, these, are, not around you know it. these moments right now where you got to really show, mm -hmm. you know, where your heart is in this thing, you know? I um, and I, I think, you know, that's what I've always, you know, one wanted to do, and you know, I want to just continue to do that. I'm glad you mentioned your family because that was one of my one of my last questions. Like, how important has family been in this situation? Uh, you know, it's been important. You know, um, you know, you know, all my family was there too. You know, so it's been important. Um, but to be able to have them and bounce back, you know, ideas and. You know, and help, them support, grieve, love, give them you know, thoughts for those families as well. And um, be there. Pray for those families as well. Continue yes. to, you know, them also being a helping hand as well, you know, um, don't which give up gives me you. more hands to help, um, I feel like, which is more important. Um, and, you know, you know, them always having my back to support the idea of want to create this change, I think. You know, at least gives me more confidence that you know I'm That's not in, in this alone. You know That's what I'm saying? Good. You to, got um, some support. Help fix this. You know, for, these, for our, families, the families need support and everything. As a superstar, and he needs support. It's weird, right? Because these same outlets that report on this tragedy, when something like the W cover leaks, and now they want to get back to your relationship, and whether you and you know Kylie are together or not, is that not strange to you? Like what? I mean. Yeah. Like so that. I don't really like do, only do magazines I like, you know? Mm -hmm. like, but y'all focused on. You know, a magazine gonna try to like figure out what the fuck they wanna figure out, you know? I just, I've never did anything for a relationship for, you know, anybody to try to figure out, or put a label on what they wanna put it on. Mm -hmm. You know, That's we know what our relationship is. And, you know, so I just stand strong on it. So I guess my final question, man, who do who who does you said who does Travis family. Scott ultimately, I guess, think is responsible for this tragedy? Mm. Oh, that was a deep question, Charlemagne. You know, I, it's crazy because something tragic happened here. Mm-hmm. Everybody got to take accountability. What's, well, what I've just been trying to, you know, get to the it. bottom of is just what happened here, how it happened here. And, I, you know, and I think the families are fix owed, it. you know, that. I feel like, you know, the community is owed that. I feel like we're owed that to just know what happened here. Um, and... You know, I don't want to. I don't want to just speak too soon. I just want to figure out, you know, what happened. You know, mm -hmm. um, but and you what know, can we, we do as people, like I said, you know, as artists, we just leave this up. What can you, you know, do to, to fix it? You know, to professionals to make sure that we. What can the professionals you know, do to make sure it don't happen again? That, you know, people are protected and can you know leave and have the best experience ever. You know, you know they're going to pick this interview apart. So is there anything you want to say, you know, you know they to are, your fans, Travis. to the family of people who lost loved ones, you know, before we get out of here? I mean, I just want to, I want everyone to just continue praying for the fans. Yes. Um, I want to continue, I want people to continue praying, praying for the for ones, you. the fans that was lost. You know, I want people to continue praying for the families. Most definitely. Um, I want people to continue just reaching out for healing. Yes. Um, I want people to continue to just be there for each other. Mm -hmm. Um, and remember that, you know, that love is just, you know, everything. And with that, you know, we can try to cure everything, you know, and, um, take steps into, you know, healing. And I think the more we try to, you know, continue to let people grieve and continue to be there for people mm -hmm. and, you know, check in on people and, Make you know, sure check in on your loved okay. ones and just... You know, that, you know, I think that's just like one of the most important things, you know. Um, 
staying strong through this while we, you know, figure out what's going on, you know, and, and bring understanding. We to got this you, TS. We got you. That's what we're going to do. We're going to send healing energy to everybody involved, your families, healing you know, those energy. who are lost, healing. yourself, because nobody wants tragedies like this to happen. Right. Right. Not nobody. at all. So preventing them moving forward is the only thing we can do. Yeah. Appreciate you, Thank brother. You, man. Yes, sir. Gang in Absolutely. here. That was cool. That was real cool. And I like the fact that he, again, like I said, that he even took the time to do that. Because, you know, shit, that should be for real, for real sometimes. Like, mentally, um, crazy, though, right? So, hey, y'all, again, like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the motherfucking channel because you never know what I'm going to drop. But, anywho, at this time... Drop a comment, tell me what you think, and I'll be back.